Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am testing out these new drugstore sponges. Drugstore has really been coming out with different sponges, a lot comparable to the Beauty Blender. As we all know, the Beauty Blender is about $20 and for years there really was nothing out that would compare to it. So I'm super excited that drugstore brands are coming out with new sponges. I am going to be testing out the Real Techniques Diamond Sponge and then also the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. Okay, so that's the name. So this one I think is about $10 and this one is about $7.99. Um, I did buy this one at Ulta and I bought this one at my local Walgreens. I do consider Real Techniques a drugstore brand just because it's cheaper and you can also buy it in the drugstore section of Ulta. So for me, I would consider it drugstore, but L'Oreal obviously is definitely a drugstore brand. So I'm going to go ahead and wet these sponges and then I'll be back to show you guys how they work. For the demo, I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I recently did a one brand tutorial using the Wet n Wild Foundation and this right here has easily become like my baby. I love this foundation. I'm going to go ahead and do one side of my face with the L'Oreal blender and then the other side with the Real Technique sponge. So I'm just going to take this foundation and run this on my face. Personally, I like to use a brush for foundation because I just find that it gives the most coverage. Um, sometimes I feel like the Beauty Blender can take away from my foundation. So I like to go in with my Wet n Wild brush that I always use in my videos. But when I saw these sponges, I was like, I gotta try them out. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Blender sponge um, on this side of my face. And as you guys can see, it is pretty big now that it is wet. It's pretty squishy. And this is definitely how soft the Beauty Blender feels. A lot of times, drugstore sponges will be very, very stiff. So I just feel like, how are we supposed to blend this on our face when it's like knocking us out because it's so hard? Blending this out on my face, it's definitely not hard. It's nice and soft. I like that it's pretty big so you can cover a wide range of your face. That way we're not sitting here blending for days. <laughs> So far so good. It's really blending out the foundation nicely. It's not taking away too much product. So blending it out, I do like it so far. It didn't take away from any of my product. So my foundation is still pretty full coverage. It blended out super fast because it's a pretty big sponge. So I like it so far. Honestly, I'm a little biased. I really like this sponge already because, I mean, it's named after me. <laughs> the Diamond Sponge. Just like the L'Oreal Blender, it has a pretty big surface, so that way we can blend easily and fast. Um, it's nice and squishy. Okay, so I feel like it's a tad bit bigger than the L'Oreal Blender, so it's definitely like blending everything out super fast. Um, I don't like the fact that it's white. I don't really like white sponges because I just feel like it just gets so dirty and just looks so ugly so fast. Right off the bat, I feel like this one blended it out super, super quickly, and this one took a little bit more time. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to do one side at a time, that way the concealer doesn't like dry up on us. And I'm just applying a normal amount as I would. So I'm going to take this L'Oreal Blender and I'm going to turn it around and use the pointed side just so I feel like we could really get under the eye that way. And typically for concealer, I like to use my e.l.f. brush. Again, because I find that that gives me the most coverage. Um, I just really feel like sponges can sometimes um, take away from your product. And you guys know me, I like a full coverage beat at all times. So it can't be having my um, concealer taken away, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to flip it over. That way I can get the edges of my concealer and make sure we are nice and blended out. I will say though, because it's so big, it is kind of hard to really get up under your eye. I do see a little bit of freckles coming through, which usually would not happen if I use like my brush that I use for my concealer, but it's not bad. It didn't take away too much product, so I'm going to go ahead and try the Diamond Sponge. So again, just coming under here and blending everything out. Compared to the L'Oreal Blender, I am able to get more precise because of this tip, so that is good. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and flip it over just to get the edges. Heart Shape Tape is super full coverage, so typically I would not see anything peeking through. But with both sponges, I still see a little bit of freckles peeking through. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, and then I will be back to show you guys my final thoughts. Okay, so I am here for both sponges. I really do like both of them. That is awesome that you can go out and get this one for $7.99. 
and get the same exact quality of a beauty blender which is $20. I will say that far as my concealer I feel like it did sheer it out a little bit but I'll probably stick to my brush for that just because I like my under eyes to be flawless you know but as far as foundation I absolutely love this I think I might like this one a little bit better just because I feel like I got my foundation on in like two seconds this one took a little bit longer but it was still just as good but overall I really do like these sponges I definitely recommend them you can find them in Ulta or in your local drugstore so that is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed the video please let me know if there's any other products you guys would like for me to try I honestly be on the hunt for new products I would love to hear your recommendations so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.